Hi everyone, I am back again doing another picture from Rita Berman's free download. Now you need to get hold of her download fairly quickly because it won't be available for very long, but you don't need to um, worry about colouring it right away if you don't have the time. You can just download it and then do it later. Once you've got it saved on your computer, it will be there forever for you. Right, let us come in and have a go at this second picture. Now this looks rather magical. We have a magic carpet, a lamp maybe, um, a tagine, is it? A jug and some other shoes and some knitting, so that's rather fun. Um, I'm thinking maybe we could do a, perhaps a more limited colour palette for this one, just um, for a bit of fun and a bit of a change. So I'm thinking I might go all blues just for this one. I'm just going to grab out all of my blues. I'm using Stedler Design Journey pencils. So I have, yeah, I've got five blues. I'm going to have a go. You may not um, be happy with this idea and you might choose to do something very different, but I'm just going to have a go. Just, just you know, why not? So this is number 63, which is our Delft Blue, and this is where I'm going to start. It's the sort of mid-shade, really, and I think I'm going to do this for the sky. So I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to fill in all of the sky. Now the stars, I probably won't do blue, but I might do. We'll just see how it goes. I'm just thinking, you know, I always do these sort of multicoloured, and I'm just trying to think of a different idea. And if you, um, you know, you could do the whole of yours in one colour, the whole page. Um, well, it's not one colour, is it? It's, it's lots of different blues. For example, so it's not just um, one blue. That would be, uh, that would be quite tricky. I have done pages like that with just one pencil, but I think that's. Uh, so, and you need to um, have a pet, have space. You can layer it up and do different things with the same colour. So we'll not do that. Now, some of these little tiny circles here and here and here, they do have little gaps into colouring, but they're so small that I'm just colouring over them because um, I just can't cope with something that teeny tiny. I didn't yesterday when I did this other the other page or when it, I'm not sure whether it came out yesterday or not. Um, not quite sure of timings of videos at the moment. Um, when I did the last one, I didn't tell you what paper I'm using, and I know people quite like to know. Um, it is a Derwent um, block of paper that I'm trying out. Now, it's quite toothy, um, meaning it's roughish to feel, and I think that's okay for the harder pencils. Um, they can fill in all that tooth, and it's fine. Um, if you're using a softer pencil, they tend to just wave over the tooth and leave white space. So it depends what type of pencil you're using, what type of paper is going to suit, which makes perfect sense. I'm sure you all know that anyway. Um, but you just need to give it a bit of thought, really, what's going to work for you. Um, I can put a link to this one. But um, I was just trying out, it's got this this particular pad of Derwent paper has different colour papers in it and I wanted to cut, try out some different colours which is why I got it really. So uh, it was just, that was the reasoning. It wasn't because I thought it would be particularly amazing. I just wanted the colours. And it's okay. Um, I've had, I've used worse paper, that's for sure. Um, I don't like really, really smooth paper. I've got some um, card, like um, it's really for printing, like, I don't know, presentations or, um, you know, um, work that you want to present on a thicker piece of paper. It's not for colouring and art, it's just a stiff paper and that's a bit too smooth for my liking, but it's all very personal. Now with blue, just using blue, we will might want to leave some white in places just to uh, uh, white, blue and white go really nicely together but uh, we'll see how it goes um, we may not need to but I'm thinking these stars and dots might be better off white 
but if you tend to colour over the edges, like I do, over the lines, then you might want to do them in a white pen to make sure they are defined, if that makes sense. We've also got smoke, which I might leave. I'm not sure. I've got a really pale blue, so I may use that. Okay, I think that's all the background. I've done it in really plain colouring. Now I'm going to grab the cobalt blue, the number 33. No, I haven't. I've grabbed the number 3, which is just the blue. But I think I just used that. I don't have 33 here. There you go, there it is. Right, I'm, just to clarify, I'm using 3. And I'm going to use that actually for our carpet. I'm going to use it for the outline of the carpet. Now I'm going to put this down fairly heavily on this outline so it stands out from the background. It isn't a really similar colour but to make sure that you can see that it's not the same. So there's that bit of the carpet and I'm going to do this layer, some sort of going to alternate my colours a bit. I realise I didn't leave a white bit there. We'll, we'll manage that, don't worry. Uh, and the middle. Like that. Uh, this bit's really dark. Let me colour that a bit. There we go. Okay, so we're going to actually use a much paler blue for the rest of the carpet. This is number 30. It's the light blue. Yeah. I'm going to try and just put a bit in there even though I didn't leave a space. And here. And then these tassels in the light blue. This one I'm thinking I'd like really dark, so I'm going to grab my 33. Um, this is the cobalt blue, as I said earlier. And I'm going to do this sort of candle holder. And I want it to look a little bit shiny, so I'm going to make it really dark here and here. And leave a bit of white. There, just to make it look like shine. I'm just looking in my camera to see whether that looks shiny. I think it does. Um, now, I'm thinking that these circles are holes, so I'm going to make them really dark, just really layer it up, and then here a bit lighter, but still using the same blue I think we can get away with that because I do want it to all look like it all be the same color as if it's made from the same thing wait this a bit darker down here now inside here I can't see that there's a light inside but I'm thinking there's a glow, so I'm going to make this bit really dark and then sort of lighten towards there. And the same here that we've got a bit like that. And then this outside bit, I we'll want a bit of shine on again, like it's sort of metal. I like that. A bit different, isn't it? Now we've got these sort of swishy things. <laughs> I don't know what it is? I'm going to grab the number 30 again, the light blue that we used over here for these because I think it will just sort of tie together. These um, bits. So 
so it will sort of match across with the carpet hopefully on the other side now we have these bit pieces down here now I'm thinking that I'd quite like the hmm, yeah let's use our Delft blue the um, 63 because I'm thinking Delft could be quite nice on the china so here it is 63 now mm, I'm thinking let's do the handle but I'm thinking some of this might be white but I think if I do the main parts blue and leave some white rather than like the inside and then leave some white stripe I think it might look better so I'm going to leave that bit white and do this bit in blue I'm trying to leave a bit of a shine line so that we leave that bit white and those little dots oh dear my son's getting a bit agitated it says his lecturer is saying that they struggled with the programming part when they were doing their degree. The, do the module he's doing is principles of programming. It's like, why is she teaching it if she struggled with it? Hmm. We'll see what happens. So there's our jug. You see I've left a few white bits but not too much. I'm going to do the same with the tagine. I think that's what it is anyway. I'm getting a sort of Arabian Nights feel for this page, which is cool. I'm not sure about the knitting though. But then I don't know much about traditions of different cultures. I'm really uneducated, particularly when it's outside of Europe. So well, I know a bit about America and Australia, but you know when you're English speaking it's a bit easier I guess but I don't know much about the sort of native cultures in those countries which are obviously the more interesting ones I would say I'm going to leave that bit white I'm going to colour in these bits though and then the sort of sorcery bit I think I'll go dark there sort of fade it a bit, not to white and then a little bit on here there we go now what do we have left? what can we have we used 37? Oh, oops <laughs> no we haven't 37 is the ultramarine blue I'm going to use that firstly for here And then for our ball of wool. Now with wool or a ball of thread, twine, I tend to make it a bit lighter in the middle and darker on the outside to try and emphasise this spherical shape that it would have. There's the thread from it. Now I'm going to use the number 30 again now which is the light blue for the um, shoes or slippers, I realise I might need to come out a tad so can, you can see what I'm doing. These are so cute with their little curly bits. I'm going to leave this flower in white if I can. I'm going to do my best to anyway. I'm thinking that back might be a little bit darker. Stomach's gurgling. <laughs> My son's just said that one department is on something's on strike. I know some of the lecturers were on strike. I don't know whether it's like the um he said IT, so I don't know whether, because he's doing a computing course, 
whether that's his teachers and that's why he's not getting a teacher who seems to know what they're doing, or whether it's IT, i.e. did support, IT support. Um, I'm going to go for the 33 to do the inside part of the slippers, or shoes. I guess they're shoes, aren't they? There we go. Now, I am thinking I've got some my pale pastel um, blue. This is 302, and I'm going to use it really lightly to do this. do our stars but I am leaving the other bits that I've left white I'm going to continue to leave white wash that's allowed siren now I'm not too sure how much I like this to be honest I think it's quite fun doing something in just one colour and uh, different but I'm not sure how very well defined the items are as a result so what I'm going to do is just grab a black. Oh, I don't have, I've lost my black. So I'm going to use my super soft black. It's instead a, a design journey pencil, number nine. I don't know where my black's gone. I hope I didn't, I, I have a nasty feeling that I might have lost it on holiday because I took these with me. But never mind. I'm just going to go around the edge of the items where they overlap each other to provide like a little border so I'm hoping that that will help them to stand out a bit more sorry I'm putting my hand on top of it so they because they're the same colour they might otherwise blend in even where they're touching the background because the background being blue as well now if you use a non-super soft pencil it will be a bit more vibrant but I don't know if it needs to be. I don't know until I see. I just think it might just define the items. I haven't done the knitting needles have I? And I haven't done that bit either. I'll be back in a minute doing a few more bits and pieces once I've just outlined all of this. Go around the knitting needles and we'll fill them in in a minute. Now I haven't done those two dots. I'm going to do rows. Um, so this is the pastel blue 302 and I'm going to do those dots there. And that star, and I think I'm going to do the knitting needles with it too. I want them to be quite light. And then that bit, I'm trying to remember, I think I did it in number 30. I think. Maybe not. It's done now anyway. Okay, so there we go. There's our next one. In a sort of bluey tone i probably won't do any of the others in just one color it was just i wanted to try something different and i felt the china and the different things that would work so it's just a bit different something different really. okay well thank you so much for watching um i hope you have a really super day and happy coloring <laughs>